Welcome back. I'm Pixel Pete Sad Slime. So let me show you how to do this run. I'm a I'm a game dev, and this is a Felix. It's a character from my platformer RPG. You could uh, play the demo now on Steam. The Last Phoenix. So there's a few things that I want to help you out with real quick. So I'm using a spray, by the way, and there's these three thingamajigs here, and here you can decide where you want to position this stuff. I like to keep it on the right side because it makes me feel like uh, it's like Photoshop or whatever when I'm drawing. However, when animating, especially if you have a long animation, it's probably better to put it down near the bottom. <laughs> My bad. And so then you can also over here, click this thumbnails thing and you can uh, have thumbnails. And I almost never see anyone using that feature. I just wanted to point that out. It's pretty cool to see these thumbnails of the different uh, pieces. I separated every body part on a different piece. You, you definitely don't need to do that. But if we take a look at this real quick, this is just my feet. That's just the feet right there running. And for this, I just wanna show you a few things super quick, okay? This is uh, definitely a, a, a tip that you need to, uh, you should do. You don't have to, but it makes it easier for the eyes to follow the legs when they're moving so fast. And you know, when you're doing, like my animation is only eight frames, that's kind of choppy. So it makes it easier to follow if you shade the back leg. You see that? You see what I did there? Look at this whole thing here. It's a darker color. And because it's a darker color, when we go to the next frame, you can follow the leg. You're like, oh, there's that leg. And I even made this part of the leg a darker color. Okay, and then so you have your animations here, just a few quick things. You can use the arrows to go through your, uh, your animations. And then when you click the play button here, it goes through the animation at, at, at some like speed. If you wanna change that speed, that it goes through that animation, then what you can do is you can double click, actually, maybe you don't have to double click. Yeah, yeah, you, so you double click, double click, and then here it tells you the duration. Unfortunately, if you change the duration for one, it, it only affects one. So, it, you know, it's not gonna look good. You have to select all of them. You have to select all of them and now I can change the duration. And so if I make it like 200 milliseconds, now if I hit play, you can see the animation's playing slower. It looked like one of them was not 200. Okay. So now the animation's playing slower. Okay, and then um, there's a thing you can do um, right here, these tiny two little boxes. It's so not obvious, but if you click this, you get what people call onion skinning. And as you can see, there's one in this two here. It's got this, uh, this little, um, you can drag across. And basically what that does is it creates this uh, opaque, this transparent version of the other frames. And this makes it a lot easier to do something like a ball bounce. Here, I'll just show you uh, real quick. So let's say I had a, 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 a ball that, so let's say I wanted to do like a ball bouncing or something. So we have that there and then now I can see where it is. So all I gotta do is move it lower and then move it lower. This makes it a lot easier to then animate if you have onion skinning. You can see where the previous frame was. So there's a, there's a pro tip for you as well. And then lastly, I don't wanna spend too much time telling you exactly how to move the arms for the animation, which is the hardest part for most people is they just don't understand anatomy or they don't get that when your left legs forward, your right arms forward and the, you know what I mean? So instead of like drawing an outline for your character <laughs> and then every single, you know, new frame, you, you try to tweak it. My bad, my earbuds are falling out. That's such an annoying thing about earbuds, right? Um, don't, don't do the outline, don't do an outline. And then also like the way I love to draw is I, I like to draw silhouettes. And so I like to draw silhouettes. Let's just say that's like the feet. Oops, uh, contiguous. 
um, but also it's hard to do this if you um, have like one single solid silhouette. Like imagine if this, everything, oops, everything was the, the same color. So when you're doing your animations, especially something complicated like a run animation, don't make every single frame high detail. What you want to do is you want to sort of like uh, create a silhouette of the of the like leg or whatever. Let's just say this is like a leg. And then in the <laughs> and then in the next frame, you know, redraw it and uh, <laughs> redraw it. And then once you have the animation perfect, like what you're doing is you're, you're tweaking the silhouette. Let's say I'm like, oh, I didn't like that. I need to move this here. So mess with the silhouette first and then after the entire animation looks good with your silhouette. And remember, each body part's like a different color. Then afterwards, that's when you go in and you add the outline. But dude, do not try to like draw frame by frame with an outline and all the detail in every single frame because then it's going to make you like be lazy and you're not going to tweak the frames. You're not going to want to tweak them, especially if you're doing like shading in every frame. So first figure out that first make the animation look good without going in and adding an outline without doing the shading, just using these big chunks of color. But there's a resource that I want to show you guys. And I use this resource too. And it is this right here. Watch this. Check this out. Ooh, look at that butter smooth. And the great thing about this is that in this example, the different body parts are separated by color and they're on a different layer as well. And I'm not saying like trace over this or whatever, but it'll give you a really good idea of how to do the, how to do the frames, you know, you'd be like, oh, that the knee bends here, the elbow bends there and the, this resource. So, um, so if you want to use that asset, it's like $1 on itch. That, that is just beautiful. And I'll put the link in the description if you want to get it. It is, it, it, the asset is by Zeggy Games. And uh, so shout out to Zeggy Games. Th this is an amazing thing that you did. So thank you Zeggy Games for making this resource. I used it for the last Phoenix and it's fantastic. And hopefully some people uh, go and buy it for one buck, dude. By the way, I also have an itch page and on my itch page, you can, um, oh, I gotta remove the Kickstarter. Kickstarter is over, oops. So um, I, I have these free pixel art assets and I really think that I should add to these pixel art assets. Like when I first started the YouTube channel, I was adding to, the, to these art assets um, and then I kind of stopped, but I really should keep doing that for you guys. Uh, so let me know in the comments below what um, you want me to add to these art assets. Like what should I draw next? And then put it in that free art asset pack. That's just, it's just meant to help you get, get, get you started on making your games and stuff like that. You can play my latest game, Glass Phoenix, right here in the browser. Uh, it'll just take a sec to load up. However, because it's playing in the browser, like the music, music takes it like a little bit longer to load in. I'll, I'll need to take a look at that. So it's better if you just like download it from Steam and wish this the game. Because if you download it on Steam, then Steam thinks that there's some interest in my game and it'll actually show it to more people, which helps me try to helps me succeed as an indie game dev. I'm a struggling indie game dev. By the way, in case you didn't know, we have a Discord where you can show your art and we give each other feedback and stuff. So check out the Discord if you wanna be part of the pixel art community and I'll see you guys next time. Good luck on your projects.